What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. Uh, on my show, I like to talk about risk. I like to talk about game theory, philosophy, strategy, all the fun stuff. I love you. I appreciate you. If you like the show, I implore you to subscribe to my channel. Throw me a like if you like the video. Um, what can I tell you, folks? We're playing another Fix Friday. We're doing this one live on Twitch. I'm playing Spoon in the second seat. My spawn looks like an Australia spawn yet again. But I'm going to take what the game has given me. And if Magenta fucking sues out, and Lois Coran is going to be like, I don't want Pete to have Australia. I want it now. And I'm going to be like, no, Lois. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Good out of turn one, Australia. I'm going to go for a turn two, Australia, with that six stack back up. Says, You fuck with me, I'm going to punch you right in the face. I don't trust anybody. That fucking spawn for South America is hilarious. Oh my God. All right. So, spheres of influence. Who's going to be where? Black obviously wants South America. White looks like they're taking Africa, which means purple's going to take Europe. Magenta's kind of SOL. Red gets North America, I think. Show you guys the settings, and I'm so glad that everyone readied up. We're playing Classic Fixed World Domination. Uh, so that's Classic Map World Dom. I got a 90-second turn timer, and I got a neutral bot. Uh, fixed cards, balance blitz dice, alliances are on, fog blizzard portals are off, and I'm in the second seat in the first seat. The black player is Burgess Arcadia. Flying the flag of Canada. In uh, the third seat is Jonas Hayakawa. Hi! Hayakawa. Uh, who's taking Africa, flying the flag of Aussie. In the third seat, the red players are Rastus Conte. Flying flag of Switzerland playing as red. In the second last seat is Lois Coran from an unspecified location. And I'm always super sus of unspecified players. And in the ultimate seat, the purple player is a Turk with a name that I'm going to butcher, but I'll try my best. Is Yunu Semri Kara Demir 52. I tried. I tried. You don't know that I tried to pronounce your name, but I tried. <laughs> Nicely read. Thank you. I I tried. Not not pretending to be a perfect person, but you you got to give me some respect for the effort. Don't you do it? Oh, we're hitting the perp before. I love that. That was a manual roll. What are we seeing? Whoa, a perpy fucking bots out immediately. I immediately purple's like, fuck this game. Whoa. Did you see? Did you see the quickest quit in history? <laughs> that was hilarious. That guy got manualed once and quit the entire game. Oh, wow. I don't think we've ever seen the bitch quitting get to this extreme level folks wow i cannot abide a single manual roll i'm out <laughs> smell you later and that's why we use neutral bots turn two black easily takes south america oh man that was so funny <laughs> little baby girl yes uh how you doing jj look at purple troop count yeah well they got smoked <laughs> they quit I, I like it it's funny it's funny to me I'm laughing at his misfortune because I'm a bad person. <sighs> All right, well, we got a pretty sweet Aussie start. And as you guys all know, Australia is my favorite. Why are we doing this again? Okay. So we're playing the Aussie position. <sighs> that was creepy. <laughs> yes, I'm known for my creepy dude. Go for Asia? All right, JJ. Just for you. <coughs> uh, 
<clears throat> try the Asian turtle strategy. Hey, thank you for the gifted Saudi gent. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. I don't actually mind going for you. What? 3v2? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, red is going to deal with a lot of troops in North America. Why didn't black take South America turn two? <laughs> Fun to try the Asian turtle strategy. Might be a little risky. All right, so how aggressive is Magenta? They already started manualing shit. Now they're slattering. Okay, so Magenta is uh, is a real is a real one, folks. Magenta is flying an unspecified flag. They manual for some weird reason, and they know how to slider. So I'm going to say Magenta is a player that we shall have our eye on. Pop, pop. Yeah, I figured you were going to do that sooner. So we're not going to have a good Asian turtle because the SA player has already six stack in Yakutsk. Not much I can do about that. I can kind of build up this soft guard. Try not lose some ground. We got a sub from the bookie. Thank you, bookie. Are you a winner? And white takes Africa on turn three. Yup. Okay. No set. Well, it's actually not all that strong. Don't know that it makes sense for me to let them hold Africa. Asking Black if he wants to break. You know who's going to help me is, is Magenta. I'm going to do a little fucking team on white thing. Get us in a four player game real quick. How do we feel about this, Magenta? Wait, people, Pete taking the turtle Aussie position? I know. It's, it's a fucking tragedy is what it is. I forget it's very tempting. I know. Move to NA ASAP, you think? NA seems like the worst play. Now we have a set. Nope. <laughs> we do not. We do not have a set. Red alley's up. Thank you, Red. Black does, though. I don't know why Black left a two there. I was just worried about getting smacked by Magenta, I think. Okay. Yeah. Chat saying to uh, go for Africa and leave Oz? I don't think so, Gus. I don't think so. Not after the white set. 
I think Black will fuck with Red and White. I don't think so. Not as long as Black has this. I think Black's going to hang out in Asia and take cards. And White looks like they're slowly leaving, giving North America to Red. Ooh, he rolls a 6v5. Wow, Red is not waiting. Red's saying, I'm taking North America right now. Yeah, Magenta just wants Europe, indeed. 65. No, you see that shit? That was fucking nuts. <laughs> Red really wants North America. Well, I mean, he's not all that far down. He's got 23 troops. <laughs> it costs him a bit, yeah, but, you know, might th they might hold. Everyone seems to be a good neighbor. Hey, we got Foghorn Leghorn. Thank you for the prime. Thanks so much, man. Swagmaster says black kills red for four. Uh, magenta player, throw me a heart. I got nothing but love for you, Magenta. But unfortunately, I require your resources. Smell you later. <laughs> oh, and we double trade. So yeah, I'm obviously not gonna stay in my, oh, and the trades both suck. Oh, I was hoping to get 20 troops and I get like 10 from that. Ooh, those trades suck. Saying a white to hit me. Saying a black to hit me. Throw the heart to white. We're just gonna pull troops all the way into the Europe sphere. I don't want Australia anymore. I want Europe. I want to make sure everyone understands that I say hit me, please hit me. It's fine. Right? Same to black. Black can hit me. White's gonna go for it, I think, which is fine. This is good. I want a plus five roll that don't break my Europe, just break the Oz or sit like that. Either way is fine. Uh, I didn't trust Magenta. Magenta was sus, man. The the slidering, the fucking manual, the the unspecified flag. I'm glad to have them out of the game before they fucking stabilize in a better position. Let's see if I actually get to hold your. I just want Europe. <laughs> see, the game loves you. <laughs> the game does love me. <laughs> of course, when they do it, it's fine. If you do that, the game is fuck you over. Black has good lines. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not. I'm not going to break you. I'm not breaking you. Don't worry. If I would, if I was going to break you, I would have broken you. Red. I'm not going to break you at all. I'm expecting someone to take Australia, and that someone can be black. I'm fine if black does it. If black wants to run down off the eleven. Unreasonable to hold both. Okay, Red wants to put the nine out. I'm attacked with it. That was true. He wants to move the five with his fortify. Five goes to the nine or five goes to Kamchatka? Five goes to the nine. Okay. Uh, they're letting me hold both. No, I think black breaks it. I'm totally fine if black breaks it. Black also might just take me out of Europe, which is way worse for me. The fact that I got I got eight cards and I got fucking half value on the double trade, that's the heartbreak, right? I should be in a troop lead right now. I should be in a troop lead right now with normal luck, right? I got quite bad luck with the cards. Remove the black exterior? Nope. No, 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 no. 
We are now in an equal four player game. Black wants to go down, take Australia. It's fine by me. Cool. This is fine. I'm going to continue to abandon Australia. Don't actually want it. I want Europe. Right? I don't care who takes it. Either if white wants plus five, if black wants plus four, that's fine. I still get plus five. Yes, I know. You're, that's take it. Take it. Yes. Take it. You can have it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I like this. Right? You have to show a little quid pro quo sometimes. I'm happy to let him get plus five if I get plus five. Um, and now I got a friend in white. Yeah, take it. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He's asking nicely. Yes. You will not start a war. Yes, you're good. Well played. Yep. Totally fine. I like this, right? I, I, I'm not the type of guy who's going to be like, yo, <laughs> I need a plus seven. Like, it's not going to work. So rather than that, I take, I, I like that upgrade. That was the right time to upgrade. Um, the set was a bit shitty. So now we're in a pretty equal four player. Black could probably kill white if he wanted to. I want red to not stack on Greenland. Oh shit, we got Kyle in the chat. How you doing, Kyle? How's your day, man? Isn't Australia the best continent? The entire the entire palm goes on the face. And I can't hear on the face. Uh, <laughs> good. Right, I'm, I'm good too, man. Thank you. I'm doing a lot of work. Very busy. I was on vacation. Uh, so I came back and had a lot of shit to do, as we always do when we have a bit. Uh, God, <laughs> just got here to see me abandon the Ovi God. No, 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 no. Don't you, don't you pile on with that shit. Um, Straight Light says, we've now set the noob trap. The mouse takes the cheese and Pete jams the whole stack down because Oz is winning play. No, no, no. Pete's here for a nice, friendly, good neighbor game does black go down and take it he does see see now there's a little animosity black wants a plus four to white's plus the board is still unstable but i have a good generation so all things being equal me and white or me and red um are the ones who will win this game I'm not going to stack on that 12 at all. He forces me to match. I might for a bit. Where did I go? I just got back from Vegas and Utah. Ooh, Vegas and Utah sounds fun. I went to LA, San Diego, and uh, finished uh, two nights in, <laughs> I know these, these vacations make no sense, in uh, two nights in Halifax, Nova Scotia, folks. I went to the Juno Awards, which uh, Canadians know exactly what I'm talking about, but non-Canadians probably have no idea. This is the Canadian Music Awards. This is the grammys or canada um uh, and it was incredibly interesting to be in that room i'll tell you because i'm not a musician so i never expected to have a seat at that table or in that room and it was really cool to see all the fucking celebrities and like the fucking the massive circle jerk that is uh award uh, industry award ceremonies but like with the artists with like it's cool to be in a room with um uh, almost all really talented musicians, right? That's what open says. He's got family living near Halifax. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, first time that was my first time East of Quebec city. How did I get a seat? My, uh, my girl was nominated. So we went out to Halifax nominated for Juno. Pretty fucking cool. Did you see lights? She used to be friends with her. She was from Toronto. No, I don't know that she was nominated, but I did see some, I did see Maestro Fresh West. I don't know how many of you guys know who Maestro is, but I've actually met him before, um, like 20 years ago. Maestro is like the pioneer Canadian rapper. So he got a Lifetime Achievement Award. Red is taking their sweet, sweet, sweet fucking time. Did we go to San Diego Zoo? Yes, San Diego Zoo was awesome. Dude, stop stacking. Why are you stacking up? <laughs> Why are you stacking there? 
That's fine. I know how to deal with that. Ooh, black stack internally too? Okay. White's passive. White is a very passive player. Okay. <coughs> so do this. We do Iceland. Save the Iceland. The next set. We this. I want to match, but I'm not going to militarize that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card here and I'm going to depressurize off of red so that they stop um, adding. And if they keep adding, I can match an interior and then that allows them to break when and if they want to involve themselves in the rest of the board without me losing a guard stack and I can reciprocate after they do that. Right? This is how I don't already want to lose 14 troops, let alone have that situation continue to um, build. So I, I depressurize at this point, which is friendly to red because red and I are in the lead. So the worst, the dumbest situation for this board with inevitability is for me and red to hit each other. Me and red should win this game. We should let bl the black and white war solve itself and then choke out the third person and then go into a 1v1, um, just based on position. Red has a slightly better position, but he's not a very good player, and I can tell he's not a very good player because he keeps adding to Greenland. So I have to worry about that. And as I always like to remind you guys, if you're going to be in a situation where you're inevitably going to get broken, right, if the pressure keeps building, it, it doesn't make sense from my point of view to add to Iceland to match because when it does get broken, you lose a guard stack. Now, when it does get broken, I learn he doesn't want me to hold my plus five anymore. He's an aggressive person. He's not a good neighbor, but I still have the troops. I just lose the future generations. So it's much better. Exactly. Sergovian says much better to break a one than a stack. So I still have the stack. I just don't lose it on the break. And this is sort of something that I like to do. And, and we are sort of seeing it too with how black is playing. So I figure white should probably be a little bit pissed off at black, but not terribly because white could have had initiative then they didn't take. So and pull the two in. Yeah. I'm I, look, I'm happy in Europe. I don't love Europe, but I don't hate it. We're always happening to upgrade from a plus two to a plus five. Um, Chaos says that red is getting overconfident with their 12 territories. Yeah. Interesting, interesting switch. We actually see black holding the plus four scenario. It's a very rare board state. I tried to shoot a video with this the other day. It came out, what, like last week? Maybe two weeks ago at this point. But you rarely see the plus four scenario of the split bonus of Australia and South America. Um, I like it when I see it. It's a cool board position, particularly in a four-player scenario. So I'm getting plus five, red's getting plus five, black's getting plus four, white is getting plus three so in an infinite time scale white loses this game unless they do something creative and i don't think they can um because they they just don't seem to have quite a, the aggressive bent seem to be a bit on the cautious side that's fine that often wins games of classic fixed um but i just if you're white i just don't know how you're going to get out of africa so is this fixed or the other one? this is fixed yeah very irrelevant person nobody Nobody, not even you, is an irrelevant person, my friend. You matter. I'm sure you matter to all sorts of people. Maybe even some that you don't know yet. Something about that username just got to me. Like, nobody's irrelevant. Everyone matters. Yeah, Black's doing the same thing. So Black's doing the, the depress. Oh, not, not a full depress. He just pulls a few troops off. Okay. So I, I'm just matching. Um, obviously, I'm not going to let red get 15 territories. 
I respect the effort, but I'm not going to allow that. Let's get another beverage. Did Red break their alliance with me? Did Red break? He did, didn't he? He did. He broke it. No. Red says you're going to. Oh, man. Red, Red doesn't understand how. Okay. So Red's still in the I must gain advantage. Oh, no. Okay. How do we get out of that one? What? Do you want to help me? Very relevant person says it abbreviates, it abbreviates to VIP. Oh, it's an ironic joke. Very irrelevant person, VIP. That I wished on that one. I didn't get it. I like it. Okay, is he going in? Go in. Go in. Break him. Break him. Break him. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes. Yes. Man, my cars have been such shit this game. <laughs> hey, didn't do me, Jay. What's popping? They did. They said you were a big fat doo doo head. <laughs> and then we'll never talk. Oh, no. I'm not a doo doo head. I'm a nice, special boy. Uh, how you doing, Pre Zen? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Pete. Hope you're doing uh, good. Love your content and hard work. Love from Pakistan. To you too, man. Welcome in. Time of day in Pakistan. It must be the middle of the night for you. <laughs> or is it super early morning? Did you get up early? Uh, Red's, oh, please. Red smack that 39. Oh, my God. Yeah, he might have gotten bored. Hello, Astrobot. Welcome in. He loads up on black again. Uh huh. Hey, Reggie, come say hi to the people. Pete, I'm watching you from tomorrow. I live in Russia and it's near 5 a.m. Holy shit. Black and I should just lock off Red for the rest of the board. Yeah, well played. Just lock him off. Yeah, what are you going to do about that, asshole? What are you going to do about that? Motherfucker. Hit my seven, blow me. <laughs> you don't hit my seven. Now you get last. The NA ego is real. It looks like, yeah. 6 30 a.m. I wanted to catch up on live. Hopefully, I did. Yes. You think Red Sues? Yeah, I'm down. Down if they do. This will be an equal Sue, right? They'll go into black as much as they go into me, and that'll advantage. Red, who's currently the, or uh, white, who's currently the weakest. <laughs> blow me, that's a clip. What, you think this is the first time I've said blow me on the stream? VIP. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> we like to make the dick jokes. Is he going to hit that 51? No. But he's stacking on it. See, 
K good. Thank you for the sub. That is a year streak, sir. Thank you so much. Red tried to swing his dick around and look what happened. <laughs> All right, black sets. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bold move. That's why I wasn't expecting that shit at all. Holy fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, Black says, no fuck you. Okay. Okay. Does the Peatman involve himself in these shenanigans? Uh, just guard up. All right, now red sues into black for sure. Right now, now 48 goes into 51. Right? Come on. Has to be. Didn't expect to see a fucking alliance break while I went to make a drink. Okay, he offers, so I accept. I'm not on his side, but it would be dumb to not accept, I think, because I want him to sue into black. Now is not the time for you to be patient, Red. Now is the time for you to suicide all your all your troops. Hey, rolls 3v16. That's not going to do shit. Bean Conte. Hey, Pete. First time I've caught your stream. I saw your body double the other day in Brisbane. I had to do a double take. Man, I wish I lived in Brisbane. Can we trade? Can fake Australian Pete trade with this guy? Please and thank you. I like sunny Brisbane, the Gold Coast. Is it called the Gold Coast? It is called the Gold Coast, isn't it? They're a long time ago. Fifteen years or so. Okay. Okay, so red didn't sue. Gold Coast an hour away. Right on, I'm pretty close then. Pete can now do the homer disappear into the bushes while red chalks up the old Sue stick. Grease that stick right up and shove it in. <laughs> shove it up his candy ass. Surfer's Paradise. That's right. That's where I went. And then Brisbane. We went on a... So I was in Australia at New Year's 2009. So January 1st is the Aussie summer. And uh, I'm hearing the cries of Reginald Jeed while I try to regale you with his tail. So let me let him out because it sounds like he probably wants to take a poop. I'll return just a moment. A meow, a meow moment. Yeah, New Year's uh, 2009, flew into Sydney, Australia. My buddy B-Rad was doing school in Sydney, and I'd already been in Asia for like three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. Went to visit my buddy in China. So, been to China. We went, then I fly into Singapore, or I fly into Sydney. We fly up, um, or we... White, right? We drive up in a bus from Sydney to Cairns. It's like a two week long ish, week and a half long ish thing. So an amazing, amazing part of the country I got to see. From Sydney to Cairns, Australia is similar to something like from Miami to New York, maybe more. 
um, and like East Coast of Australia is about the same size as the East Coast of the United States. Um, it's where most of the Australian people live. And um, I saw Coffs Harbor, saw Byron Bay, saw Nimbin, got a bunch of weed, got a bunch of mushrooms. Um, hung out on Fraser Island, which is a sand island. Did a little uh, off road ATV, not ATV, off road, um, the self drive. What, what are they fucking called? It's like a Toyota Land Cruiser that seats like 15. Um, and I, I know how to drive stick, but because it's Australia, you're driving on the right. So imagine trying to fucking shift gears with your left hand. It was very interesting. The beach on Fraser Island. Oh, the Sioux! Sioux Sioux Studio! Yes! Just say the word. Oh! Sioux Sioux Studio. All right. That's good. Red is dumb and he gives himself fourth. Um, so we, we drive up this beach that at low tide you can use as a highway, but it's also a landing strip because there's no infrastructure on Fraser Island. So the planes come in and land like over top of you. Got to like look up. Fraser Island was one of the coolest fucking environments I've ever seen. Um, saw. What else did I see? Um, saw Gold Coast, saw Brisbane, and then up to Cairns. We, we did some uh, uh, scuba in the great, oh, just off the Great Barrier Reef. Off of Airlie Beach with Sunday Islands. He's going to break. I'm also going to connect him. Or is he just going to put his whole stack against Dread? I'm going to let you... Yeah, okay. All right, let's see how much um, white wants to help. I could almost take the kill. Nuno Moore says, I didn't know you were a scuba diver, Pete. One of my passions. Oh, dude, I wouldn't pretend to tell you I'm a scuba diver. I've scuba twice in my life. Once then, on uh, off the reef, it was a two-night, three-day scuba tour where we slept in the boat and very, like, cramped. And you didn't have to learn. We didn't go very deep, right? So you didn't have to learn anything. But I did get Patty certified um, two uh, falls ago up in, look this up, noob. Up in, uh, the city is called, fuck, just north of Wyerton, but the name's escaping me. The tip of the Bruce Peninsula in Ontario, there is a town called Tobermory, and Tobermory has a harbor. Um, so if you look at Lake Huron, Lake Huron splits into a big bay and Georgian bay, right? So most of Lake Huron proper, um, is to the west and then there's Georgian Bay to the east and there's this big peninsula called the Bruce Peninsula which splits the two and at the tip there's a city called Tobermory and Tobermory is a harbor where there are a bunch of shipwrecks so they teach you that you get your paddy certifi certification you get your diving certification up to a certain depth in a safe harbor with some of the most crystal clear lake water you've ever seen it's a bit cold because it is Canada but uh uh, learning how to dive amongst uh, the shipwrecks is pretty fucking cool, I will say. OMG, Pete the Good Neighbor wins. I always I always like to play the way I like. No, we haven't won yet. Me and White are pretty equal, actually. This does black kill red? I would if I'm black. He doesn't want to take the four cards. That is fine. I will. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> let's see if he if he likes it or not. How do you feel about that? I'm sorry, I have to attack your territory. He's not responding. Ah, tra <laughs> it is I, Traitorius Maximus. Ho ha ho! Traitor! <laughs> That's good. 
<laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so now we do a deadliest trap kind of thing. How do we do a deadliest trap? I assume White knows how to deadliest trap. Let's see if White knows how to deadly trap. So if, if White starts stacking on Mideast, that's good. Maybe he lets me take Africa, then I let him take North America. This would be the ideal play for White. So in my opinion, if I was White, what I would do is I would start um, fortifying these three stacks to Middle East. Once I've done that, then I take North America. Right now... He should then, if he wants to do this, he should let me take South America. I can also let that happen. But if you want all three, you're nuts. Yeah, this is good. This is exactly, okay. This is a variant. This works very fine. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, fuck. Okay, so White doesn't get how to deadly trap. Um, okay. That's fine. Black's gonna lock themselves in a pocket. Let's see if I can teach White how to do this. Because if he lets me have South America, I can let him have North America. See what I'm saying? Do you get it? Do you sort of get it? Do you not get it? Don't tell him to hit me. I might have to hit him. He's going to hit the three. So he doesn't get it. Okay. Uh, okay. So now I risk a war between me and white. Just leave it there. Leave it there. Okay. He doesn't get it. Fuck. Work with black. How do I work with black though? Yeah. White's definitely being there. Um, how do I work with black? Yeah, I'll give up on teaching this guy to deadly trap because it's not going to work. Dude, my cards are so shitty. You want to fuck around in Asia? You go fuck around in Asia then. Right? You fight with black. Can't teach someone how to play if they don't know how. We don't have enough ability to communicate. Hmm. I always just give black first. <laughs> no dudes trade. I already had a dudes trade this game. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the uh, Q and A question. So, 
like to do one of these, a stream or a video or whatnot. And our next Q&A question is from Jacques. I don't have a desktop at the moment. Is the game available on other platforms? Oh, this is a gimme. Game is available on uh, PC and mobile. Risk global domination. Um, you get it on Steam. You also get it on mobile. That's actually how I started playing initially. Um, our, our question here is from Uriel. Hey, Pete, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you are too. If you found a Risk GD in a bottle in your basement and it gave you a choice between one, every caps roll goes flat for you, only your opponent's cap rolls are normal, or two, have a set on three every single time, which I assume the question is which one would I choose? Um, I would choose neither, which is a cop-out answer, but the reason is an unfair game is not a game I'm interested in playing. So I don't want an edge, I don't need an edge, and I don't find an edge very interesting. If anything, um, I should probably get the... I should probably get a handicap, <laughs> realistically. Now, I think the handicap in free-for-all, right, the, I named the channel after it. The Kill Beat Strategy is the, um, kind of the epitome of that idea. But, does he let me hold 15? He should. Let's see if he does. So 16 all. 16 all is good. Right now we can both hold 15 and you don't outgenerate. You already got 10 troops on me. I got a set. We're equal. White and I are equal. That was an equalizing play. It was not aggressive to white. Smack the shit out of me because he's a noob. And... Okay, pretty sure that's game. Not going to sit here and spend time trying to negotiate with someone who doesn't understand diplomacy. I'll just kill them. Um, hopefully we get it. Probably get it with our attacker's advantage. Yeah, I don't want an unfair game. I want to win in a fair game. So I don't need an edge and I don't want an edge. I want, um, that's all I want, right? That's all I would love to see. It's a fair game of risk, folks. All right, good game. So yeah, I mean, our read on, uh, <laughs> it is a dude's trade, by the by. Our read on white is that they are a beginner. And that's okay. Everyone's going to learn sometimes. White and I should have gone first and second easily. But too bad he doesn't understand diplomacy, so I know how I do diplomacy. I do it like this. I will. I will make you die. Oof. My dice were super shit. Wow. My dice were super shit. Fuck. Maybe not super shit. Maybe the regular amount of shit. Plus, I got the dude's trade. Let's see if Black gives me the fucking... Uh, let's see if Black gives me the higher placement. Nine troops off? That was okay. Almost at it.
Let's see if you can give me uh, second or third. Looks like second. Nope, he's trying to give me third. Too bad. Good enough. Second's good. We're happy with that. Uh, these guys are both beginners. If you see this video, Mr. Jonas, um, the situation, either situation could have worked um, is I brick up this and this territory, you brick up this territory. So we have a three point block on the Australian position called the deadliest trap. The way we would generate the same is either I hold the mid stack and you would have fortified one, two, three stacks into mid east. And then I take Africa while you take the Americas and or you don't brick up uh, Mexico and you let me take South America so that I would have hold plus five plus two and you hold plus three plus five and then we do the same positioning but that's not the way the cookie crumbled and that's okay because you can't win them all folks I'm happy with how that video went happy with how that game went happy to see that you are all here with me folks I love you yeah no shock um yeah, the best player in this game I took out early. Uh, Johnny Quitstein uh, was a novice. Uh, yeah, sorry, Lois, you just got a shitty start and I killed you. And then, yeah, white and red were both really, really shitty. And black was an intermediate. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game risk, I invite you to to my channels come along the ride with me I have a daily release on youtube i do weekday streams on twitch for all of you on the path to world domination good games and good luck